And now that we have our basic user interface built, we can use Axios to make requests to the Hacker News API. The Hacker News API is documented on their GitHub page, uh, indicating all the requests and responses. But first, let's build our Axios service. So I'm going to copy this from the source code that I originally created and then explain it line by line. So in our services folder, create an API.js file and a Hacker News API.js file. API will be our Axios service and then Hacker News API will be where we make the calls. So let's paste it in. And Axios is a very powerful library. Um, you can basically tap into your request at any point during the lifecycle. So we're going to kind of walk through this and see a simple implementation to get you up and running and make it really simple to use. Um, so Axios, our function, will create a new client and we'll use this inside of our API service class. And the constructor takes a base URL, a timeout, headers, and auth. And we have some sensible defaults for each. Uh, we use the base URL because uh, when we're making a request, it's going to all be to the same, uh, same base, so then we can only use the relative path later, making it easier to build out our API requests. And then here is one of the interceptors, which on every response will say, we want to handle success using this function, which is simply to return the response, and then handle the error using this function, which will simply reject the error. We have methods for each, uh, each request type, uh, get, post, put, patch, and delete. The get and delete will only take a path, and the post, put, and patch will also take an optional payload. And you'll say this.client, the method, pass the parameters, and then on the response, return the response data. So we get the response, and then we return the data, and the data is just the JSON response. Cool, now let's set up our Hacker News API to use that. So we'll import API service from API. We know we'll want to create a new client to make requests. So client equals new API service base URL. And let's see what our base URL, uh, base URL will be from the documentation. So we see that all requests go to the hacker news firebase.com v0. Let's copy that. Let's store that into a constant and pass it to our constructor. And now let's take a look at the endpoints that we want to use. We know we want the top stories. So let's find the top stories API endpoint. And here it is. It's simply V0 top stories. And we see that the response is just an array of the items ranked in the order based on ID. So we will also need to make requests for each of these items individually using their ID. So let's go ahead and create our get top stories. Const hacker news API dot get top story IDs will be a function where we get the top stories endpoint. And then we notice that they have this JSON pretty print equals pretty after every request, which we'll put it into JSON format. So let's uh, make sure we include that. So let's just create a new constant to cover it so we can use it for each uh, request string. So const JSON query equals JSON print equals pretty. Then it here. We actually need to initialize our Hacker News API ob object as well. So Hacker News API equals this. And there we go. We have a request to get the list of top stories. And now we need to get each story ID. So um, each story item based on the ID. So we see that we have the list of IDs and now let's find the endpoint. This one is just simply v0 item then the item ID. So hacker news API dot get story equals the ID function client get 
the item at this ID and we want it in JSON. So looking at this now, we, we can get all the IDs and we can get all the stories, but the top stories come in groups of 500, around up to 500. So we know we can't get each of these story items immediately. That's just 500 is too many. You can't make that request. It would be uh, kill your app's performance. So we'll need to uh, paginate this. So let's set a page limit to 20 and then create a helper function that will take the story at the list of story IDs and get uh, the stories for that page. Hacker news API dot get stories by page ID page const begin not that begin end equals get Okay, so now we need to know what we're going to be getting. We'll need a, um, we'll use the page and the, the limit to determine the beginning and the ending values in the top story ID array that we want to get. Then we will take these values and extract the IDs using the slice function. So we'll say const get page slice, which returns the begin and the end values. So the begin, beginning value will be just the page times the limit. That's where the beginning value starts. And then the end is simply the next page, page plus one, times limit. And we want to say get page values, which will take this beginning and ending value and return uh, the subsection of the array that matches to that. So begin, end, items then this will be our list of items and we slice it from the beginning to the end so now we can say get page slice it takes a limit which we've just hard-coded for now and the page that we're on we get the active ids the ids that we want to fetch stories for at get page values Start at the beginning, go to the end, and our items will be our list of IDs. And now, since we're getting multiple fetches, we're taking multiple fetches to get these items, we'll want to make sure they return at the same time. So we'll, we want to return a list of these objects, an array of these objects. Um, the way to do this is a promise.all. It will wait until all the fet, uh, our fetch requests from Axios have returned, put them in an array in the order in which we made the request, and pass this array back to our uh, application. So we'll say const story promises, fix this typo, story promises equals active IDs, use map to create the array, hacker news API dot get story. So we'll get the individual stories and we'll say return promise dot all story promises. And finally, we export our Hacker News API. So export default Hacker News API. And just to see that it's working, let's go to our index file. Uh, temporarily just import the Hacker News API from services Hacker News API, and then Hacker news API dot get top story IDs. Then we will console log these IDs. No compile errors. Let's go back to our app. Refresh it. And let's take a look at our console. And there they are. Uh, 422 top story IDs.